Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Ford Bronco. This one is the Big Bend, and there are going to be five trims that you could choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this Big Bend has. So under the hood, there's going to be a 1.5 three-cylinder engine that is connected to a eight-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 181 horses and 190 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers are 25 in the city, 28 highway, and 26 combined. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Rabbit Red, and it's a $400 option that you could choose on this Bronco. The price on this one is 28,000 with destination, it's 30,000. And there are going to be five trims that you could choose from. There is a base, there is a big band, outer banks, bad lands, I think. And then there is the first edition. And coming to the front, I love the fact that Bronco is written right here in the front. And I love the fact that it's not written in gloss black or gray or any other color. So for the lights, they have a basic look to them, but I really like the fact that the daytime running light gets extended into the grill. So that's really nice. The turn signal indicators are going to be halogen. The daytime running light, low and high beam are LED. Here is Bronco rain in the front. As I told you, it's finished in uh, white. Some gray trims around the headlights and here in the front. Design is really nice. The hood is very aggressive. So when you are inside driving this Bronco, you could see the hood very good. It's honestly more aggressive than a Mustang. Coming down, you'll have some LED lights. Flat black is in the bottom. Some functional vents right here. And there's going to be some gray here in the bottom. So here is the side view of the Bronco and it has that boxy look to it. Anyways, there's going to be a roof rail up there. It's going to be finished in flat plastic. And as you guys see up there, they're going to be basically a curve on the roof. Uh, that gives you more headroom in the back uh, seats and of course more storage place in the trunk. But anyways, guys, for the rims, the rims actually have a really nice look to them. The size of those rims, they are 225, 65, 17. They have a good amount of rubber and I love the fact that there is a very good amount of rubber on this Bronco. They're going to be a big bend badge right there. Some flat black uh, touches here and there. This is a fake vent and they're going to be some gloss black uh, trims up there and the back windows are tinted for the mirror the mirror is finished in flat black not a big fan of the way how it looks but it is what it is it does have a blind spot monitoring system and those side reflectors or side markers are functional so they have a light inside of them so here is the back of the bronco and right here in the back they're going to be the third brake light not a big fan of the way how the shark fin antenna looks a lot of companies are going away from that stick so i'm not sure why ford did that this glass actually opens they're going to be a wiper and this is how you open the glass but there is no button right underneath this plastic piece i really wish that there was a button right behind it bronco is written in uh, white and sport is right underneath it and ford is going to be all the way to the left and if you guys are curious about how you open the uh, glass, there are going to be two buttons, one for the whole tailgate and one for the glass only. So all you have to do is just go ahead and click on the button and just lift it up. Just like that. And let's say if you wanna reach inside to grab something very quick you could do that so that's nice that it has that split design and of course if you want to open the tailgate you click on the button right here here is the backup camera and the bumper is going to be finished in flat black they're going to be of course the tow hitch right there and here is a reflector and they're going to be a side marker that has a light inside of it let's go ahead and open the tailgate And I love the fact that it's labeled. So the right one is for the tailgate and the left one is for the glass. So I love the fact that Ford labeled uh, those uh, buttons. Up here, there are going to be a light on the left and another light on the right. And there is a button inside to turn on those lights. Inside, there is a very good amount of storage place. As I told you guys, the roof is nice and high. So you could put a ton of things back here. You could drop the seats down if you want to. 
and here is a button to turn on the lights and those lights are super bright seriously guys those lights are doing a great job shining on the ground even though it's not dark outside i could tell in person that there is uh, some lights on the ground which is insane so good job for for making those lights very bright they're led and here is another light inside but i really wish there was like another light up here because this light doesn't seem like it's doing uh, a lot they're going to be a 12 volt to the right some hooks right here and right underneath they're going to be the spare tire with a good amount of storage place so here is the door handle it is finished in plastic not a big fan of it but i love the fact that there is a sensor right behind it and they're going to be those lines right here just go ahead and tap them and that will take care of locking the uh, bronco here is the design of the front door and it's not crazy this is an off-road vehicle so it doesn't really have to have a crazy design but anyways this top portion right here it's almost plastic but it's soft it's not that synthetic rubber material it's like almost wrapped in cloth and leather it's uh, super weird i never seen anything like that some grayish uh, trim right here the door handle is finished in matte black door locks coming down you will have the window switches mirror controls and this bronco big bend has a blind spot monitoring system here is the armrest it's nice and soft the reflector this is plastic which is expected of course a speaker here and a good amount of storage place but i really wish that the storage place was a tiny bit deeper so here is the driver's seat it's manual and the cloth material that ford is using it's nice and i think it's waterproof if i'm not mistaken but does have that really nice uh rugged uh look to it and it uh, looks like it's easy to clean but anyways let's go ahead and move inside uh, this bronco and i'll go and show you the interior of this bronco So here is the interior of this Ford Bronco and honestly I thought the interior is going to be small but it's honestly nice and spacious unlike the Jeep Wrangler. But here is a steering wheel. It's not wrapped in leather but it is what it is. I really wish it was wrapped in leather for $30,000 uh, SUV. All the way to the left they're going to be the cruise controls, the volume controls and all the way to, to the right. They're going to be the uh, phone controls with a little bit of controls uh, to control the screen in the middle. Gauges look all right, uh, they are a tiny bit on the dated side, but they're not too bad. And to the left, they're going to be the high beam with the turn signal indicators. And all the way to the right, they're going to be the wiper controls for the front and back. And right here is going to be fuel buttons, light controls, brightness controls, fog light control. And then there is a button to open the tailgate. It does not have automatic uh, tailgate, but basically it will just open the tailgate a tiny bit. And then of course you have to do the rest of the work. So here is a screen. It's an eight inch screen. It's almost a tablet style screen, but at the same time it's integrated into the dash. There's going to be a little bit of gloss black right here. And this is uh, Ford's uh, Sync uh, 3. It's nice and responsive, but I really wish uh, it had better graphics. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit on the dated side Here is a reverse camera. It's nice and clear and it's wide and you could actually zoom in to the hitch and And coming down they're going to be a volume knob with a tune knob a few more buttons right here to control the radio or the screen Emergency light button buttons actually feel nice and solid not cheap or plasticky Here is the engine shut off and just start stop is located in a really nice uh, place. I love that brushed aluminum slash uh, gray plastic. A good amount of storage place right here for a phone or something. Coming down here is the climate controls. Super easy to use, modes in the middle. You'll have an auto function. It is a single uh, climate control, it does not have dual. Here is the speed and here is the temperature control. And then you could of course turn off the climate controls if you want to a good amount of storage place in the bottom this is rubberized so when you put your phone it's not going to slide all over the place usb-c usb and a 12 volt and here is the shifter that will control the eight speed automatic transmission in this bronco it does have a low gear and uh, the actual uh, wheel itself has a really nice rubberized uh, feel to it there's going to be some brushed aluminum right here electronic e-brake 
this is the brake hold and then you will have a goat mode which is uh pretty funny and when you change that uh goat modes uh, basically it changes up here in the screen so you know what mode you're in they're going to be slippery sport eco normal and sand and good size cup holders a little bit of storage place or something uh, small in the middle here is the armrest it's nice and soft black stitching and they're going to be a good amount of storage place inside with a 12 volt so here is the rear view mirror it's nice and long and it's almost frameless it has very nice thin bezels i like the fact that it's not bulky there are going to be some lights right here they are all led in this bronco which is very good even the back lights are led there are going to be some uh glasses holder right here and here is the visor it's finished in plastic but it feels nice and solid there are going to be some lights and they're going to be a mirror inside of this visor and you could actually extend this visor if you want to so here is the back door and the back door is almost the same but this top portion right here is plastic the door handle feels nice and solid it is finished in matte uh, black and some gray slash black uh, trim right here the armrest is nice and soft so that's good i'm glad that's not plastic there's going to be a window switch here in the back a reflector this is plastic which is expected of course good amount of storage place in the bottom a bottle holder a speaker here so here are the back seats they are very nice and spacious good amount of leg room and the headroom is very good because the roof actually kind of uh, moves up or it has like an indentation to it as you guys see there are going to be some uh, lights here in the back here is the armrest it's wrapped in leather it's nice and soft two cup holders here in the back and they're going to be some ac vents and they're going to be a USB and a USB-C. So I hope you enjoyed this review of this 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Matt here at Stevens Ford in Milford, Connecticut. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.